Welcome to my channel. I want to thank every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel, everyone that's liked my videos, that's commented on my videos, and that's shared my videos. I'm amazed that this many people want to hear what I have to say, but I'll keep talking as long as people are willing to listen. I want to talk about something that came across the news the other day, and it just looks so familiar to me. <clears throat> In this picture, you can see that there were massive pro-Palestinian protests around the world. And there's about nine pictures here. I'll put the link in the description so you can look at it for yourself. But this all over the world, people are protesting. You know what the first thing I thought of was? This. Exactly the same thing happened in the Vietnam War. And the elements of this are identical. <clears throat> First, a group of evil people attacks an innocent people and commits horrendous, terrible crimes against them. And then the Marxists come out and they say, we need peace. We need to get a ceasefire. We need to get out of this. We need to stop the killing. They never talk about the people that were killed to begin with. You don't hear them talking about the Israelis who were massacred, slaughtered by the Hamas terrorists that broke into their country illegally, went into their villages and killed innocent civilians. You don't hear them talk about that. What you hear them talk about is how, oh, these poor Palestinians, they're really suffering. We need to put a stop to this. This is a pattern. And this pattern has been around for decades. It happens every single time. In Vietnam, the communists, the North Vietnamese, were attacking and killing South Vietnamese. They invaded the country of South Vietnam. But yet all the protests were, oh, we need to stop. We need to get out. We need peace. We need to stop the killing. When, when you're in your house and someone comes into your house, breaks into your home, and tries to steal and rob for you or to kill you, what are you going to do? Are you going to fight back? Are you going to lay down and say, oh, we need peace and let them do whatever they want? Well, if you're any kind of a human being, you're going to fight back. And that's what Israel is doing. And that's what Vietnam did. South Vietnam. <clears throat> but the communists are experts. The Marxists and the liberals are experts at turning the conversation around so that it becomes about the people that are being killed now rather than the ones who were killed to start the conflict. Oh, now we need to worry about the Palestinians. Well, let me tell you who's not worried about the Palestinians. But first, let me show you what the, the Hamas terrorists did. This to me is really disgusting. But the Israelis actually had to release images of infants murdered by Hamas because they were being questioned. Did this really happen? Were they really killed? Were they, were, they, were they really beheaded? Was this really the truth? Or are you lying to us? They never ask if Hamas is lying. They just assume when Hamas speaks that they're telling the truth. For example, when they fired a rocket and it went awry, awry and it hit the hospital and killed people, Hamas insisted that over 500 people were killed, which is certainly a lie because it landed in the parking lot. It burned a bunch of cars. It didn't even damage the hospital. But all you could hear in the news was about how Israel had bombed a hospital in Palestine, something the Israelis never do. And I'm going to show you who else knows that in just a minute. But... Israel had to actually release photographs of dead babies to prove to the press 
that they were being murdered by Hamas terrorists. Now, I don't know what this is, you can't really tell, but it looks to me like a small child, like an infant, and it also looks to me like it has no head. That looks like shoulders over there on the left. This is disgusting. This is evil. This is as evil as it can get. And so now you don't think that it's fair for the Israelis to punish Hamas for what they did? You don't think it's fair for Israel to try and get rid of Hamas? Well, look what Hamas is doing. They're using women and children as human shields. I'm going to show you in the next slide or next uh, tab that I show you. They're actually preventing innocent Palestinians from fleeing Palestine. They are locking them up in their homes. They are shooting at them when they try to escape. If that isn't evil, what is? These people are evil. They're not humans. They are satanic. And they need to be exterminated like bugs. And if Palestinians who are innocent die in the process, that's unfortunate, but it's not Israel's fault. It's the fault of Hamas, who's not even letting them leave. And by the way, they're running out of supplies in Palestine, except for one place. Hamas isn't running out of anything. They have plenty of fuel, they have plenty of ammunition, they have plenty of food. They've got it all stored underneath Gaza's largest hospital. How do we know this? Well, it's been reported by the press, as you can see. But that's not all. It's also being reported by Palestinian activists. These are people who don't have an axe to grind with Palestine. In fact, they're pro-Palestinian. And yet they're telling you, Hamas is preventing Gaza residents from fleeing to safety. Hamas is doing that. That is evil. They are deliberately putting these people in harm's way to protect themselves. They're doing it for propaganda value. That's what Marxists do. They'll do anything in their power to get propaganda out of a situation. <clears throat> They actually, the Israelis actually captured some Hamas terrorists and those terrorists admitted during the interrogation that their group, the Hamas, is hiding out under the Gaza hospital. And they said they have plenty of fuel, plenty of food, and plenty of ammunition and plenty of weapons, but they're not giving any of the food or any of the fuel to the Palestinians. The hospitals are running out of fuel and so people are going to die. Innocent people are going to die. But whose fault is it? It's the fault of Hamas. It is not the fault of Israel. And you need to keep that straight in your head because they're gonna put the pressure on. I guarantee you they're gonna put the pressure on. You wanna know an example? I'm gonna show you one from the Vietnam War. It's called The Way Massacre. I wrote this article almost 10 years ago. I did a lot of research for it. I'll, I'd be willing to bet that probably 95 or 98% of you have never heard of The Way Massacre, but I'd bet almost 100% of you are familiar with the My Lai Massacre. The My Lai Massacre is where American troops went into a village and killed innocent civilians, raped women, shot babies. They did exactly what Hamas did, and it was evil. And our country, our military, covered it up and, and made excuses for it and didn't try the guys that did it. That was wrong. There is no way that you can justify that. But the estimated number of people that were killed in My Lai was somewhere between three and 600. They don't know exactly. But let's take 700, okay? 
Let's say they actually killed 700 people. That is a horrific massacre. And I don't know a single Vietnam vet who would ever make an excuse for that or say it was okay. Every single vet I know hates the fact that that massacre occurred. But you know what you've never heard of? The Way Massacre, where over 5,000 South Vietnamese were killed. And let me tell you how they were killed. They tied 10 people's hands behind their back and then tied all 10 of them together. Then they would have another group of people dig a trench. They would line up the, tie, the 10 tied people next to the trench and then they would shoot the first person in the line in the head. And guess what would happen to the other nine? They would fall into the trench because that first person fell when they, when they were shot. And then they just covered them up. They buried them alive. That's what they did. They killed 5,000 people. They killed over 500 people at a place called Daimai in a creek by throwing hand grenades and shooting them with machine guns. 500 people. You never heard of that massacre because we don't talk about that. Why don't we talk about it? The communists, the North Vietnamese communists and now the Vietnamese communists insist that it never happened. But the evidence that it did happen is irrefutable. And I'll put the link to my article in the description so you can read it for yourself if you're interested. But I, I highlighted this footnote because this is the type of thing that really pisses me off. There are around 20 published books on My Lai. There is one on the Way Massacre, and it's out of print. Among the 41 newspaper articles that I was able to locate, most were one or two column inch articles buried pages deep in the paper. That was how they reported on the Way Massacre, by far the largest massacre that ever took place in Vietnam. Didn't even talk about it. Just threw it under the rug, brushed it away, said, oh, that's no big deal. But me lie, oh my God, that's the biggest deal in the world. We were so evil. That's what the Marxists do. They kill people and then they blame it on other people and they hide it and they point to your flaws and say, see, see, you have these flaws, so you're not righteous. What difference does that make? They are evil. And evil people need to be exterminated from the face of the earth because they're not going to stop being evil. They're not going to stop hurting people. They're not going to stop killing people. Hamas is not going to stop keeping Palestinians from leaving Palestine so that they can live. Hamas is not going to provide fuel to the hospital so they can save lives. They're going to hoard it for themselves to keep their vehicles so that they can continue to fight the Israelis. And you know what? When you see these people marching and you see these signs that say free Palestine, do you understand what free Palestine means? Free Palestine means eliminate Israel, wipe Israel off the map, kill every Jew. That's what free Palestine means. Because the only way that they can have the free Palestine they want, which is from, the, from one side of the land to the other, is by eliminating the Jews, completely eliminating them. So when you see them protesting and they're holding up these signs that say free Palestine, understand what they're saying. It's just like the abortion people who say, it's choice. No, it's not choice. It's abortion. It's murder. It has nothing to do with choice. It has to do with killing babies. And free Palestine has nothing to do with freeing Palestine. It has to do with wiping out the Israelis off the face of the earth, killing every single Jew they can find, and completely eliminating the state of Israel. That is their goal. That is their stated written goal. 
So don't come to me and talk to me about how those poor Palestinians are suffering. Because they're suffering because of their own terrorist group that they voted into office. And now they're paying the consequences. I'll put links to all of these in the description so that you can look them up for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. You can do your own research. But I want you to understand this is nothing new. This is nothing new at all. This has happened every single time. Evil people kill and then they turn it around and get the world to get sympathy for their cause and say, oh, we need to stop. We need to have peace. We need to, we need to stop killing people. Killing people is so wrong. Yes, it is. It's completely wrong. But sometimes you have to kill people because if you don't, they will kill other people. As always, I pray that you will be abundant, that you'll live a long life, that you'll be healthy, and that God will bless you and keep you safe. And I pray that he will do the same for every single person that you love. I pray most of all that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things through prayer and supplication, you will let your request be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.